please you know, help to save the resources. So, um, also about whether um, I think low carbon is being successfully implemented is about everyone's awareness and, and everyone's support. So I think very importantly to go a long way is to have better communication and have great stuff. So today, I think, I think today is a great start of, of having more interesting discussions and more uh, so joint lunch discussion. There are a lot, a lot of uh, about you know <laughs> how to eat green and then you know, try to <laughs> recycle a lot of you know super sandwich paper. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a lot of creative talents here. Okay, so why not? Okay, time's up. <laughs> but involve them to actually get engaged, to think of uh, stuff engagement activities that fit your firm and everyone of colleagues like to do, like to get involved. So these are some of the suggestions I have, but I'm not sure will that fit you. But <laughs> so actually engage them to on proposing some green office solutions that will fit them. Okay, they will they'll start to apply and buy by. And then some maybe you can do some stuff, internet stuff, and also share. Okay, and the last my very point. Share with your colleagues about achievement made. So this is from Nastasha, right? So the yellow line is the 2011 uh, map which is there. You look at from 2009 back down to 2011. You can already see you're cutting down your electricity bill. Okay. So if that money saved can be sh can be you know given to the staff to contribute <laughs> to it, that would be perfect. But <laughs> and that's right. <laughs> Um, this is one of the achievement that everyone here I think mean, had contributed in the past. And also another upcoming activity that I also engage NPPA is our, is our campaign. Uh, they come as you see that switch off the whole Hong Kong or global globally to lights off on that evening. So that's a Saturday. Maybe maybe you don't have to work here, but maybe at home you can try to do something about it. And also at the firm wise can you uh, arrange something to actually echo the message and try to do something about so, also finally, to have regular review later, okay, have this sort of sharing, okay, from the green teams and then expand to other colleagues and then try to collect feedback on areas improvement. So, like a plan to check that process that you keep on improving, and then finally is just to have a bunch of policy, okay, to echo your balance policy. That's a global thing, okay. But in terms of MBA in Hong Kong, what what sort of you know strategy can we think of? Okay, and set a target. Okay, set a target. That's, that's a very important to drive changes, to drive um, staff actually to support that vision of the firm. And now I would like to pass the time to go on. <laughs> so I use up the time to go so talk about something go beyond it. Uh, I think that's a very good. Um, Patrick starts to talk about on an individual <coughs> level that uh, our daily life can. Um, be very low cover, and then we move to our workplace. Uh, the company joined Loop, and then you undergone the first uh, carbon verifications. And then now that we know our at work emissions is 8.7 tons, uh, Anastasia will help to establish a target, right? So we all move towards a reduction target, and hopefully by next year, uh, when we are here again, um, we will have a smaller number than 8.7 tons, all right? And then now I just want to, this is just for thought. Uh, what's beyond loop? Okay, now we understand our footprint at work. What can we do more as a business? So these are the three areas that we can think of. We heard about that you regularly organize uh, regional conferences to engage your stakeholders. Um, this is unavoidable, I would say. Uh, we are not talking about not doing business to cut our carbon, all right? Business has to be usual. Actually, business need to grow also. But how can we smartly grow our business but not our cover footprint? That's the key. So, doing regional conference, uh, one of the ways is just to say, uh, like Matt, Patrick already mentioned, um, how about thinking of offsetting all the carbon emissions? Um, there are already programs like um, Gold Standard Carbon Credits, and when you organize a real big event, perhaps you may also want to measure the carbon footprint of that event, and then buy some cred uh, carbon credits to compensate the emissions. All right, this is just for thought. And then the other thing is your core business is real estate development. So, um, of course, problem is the key things that you need to drive.
drive, but at the same time, when we talk about sustainable business, perhaps you may also want to um, incorporate some of the elements, like when you develop a new real estate, uh, will you incorporate some energy efficiency elements into that buildings? Uh, will you apply for a lead certification so that the entire building will be more energy efficient? Or when you design the whole building, design the whole project, uh, will you take into elements of eco-friendliness or uh, um, some of the uh, low carbon uh, meshes that is already in place so that when the tenants are moving into that building, um, they don't have the hazards like, uh, like this building. I understand that architecture has a hard time to find out what your air conditioning electricity is, right? Yeah. So this is some areas that you can also think of. And the last one is engaging your investors. You do a lot of investor forums and that kind. Um, probably you want to communicate your journey to you or your journey to low carbon and hopefully they will be motivated to do something for um, uh, the plan. So that's all we have for today and then I would like to pass the time to Anatasha to share with us um, your point forward plan. Oh, thank you.